In this video, we are going to show you how to get started with NXP software and the professional embedded GUI software, MWIN. We will be using the i.mx RT1050 crossover MCU, but the directions are generic and will apply to other processors that are supported by MWIN as well. The first step will be to assemble the board. You will need an IMX RT 1050-EVKB and an RK043FN02H-CT 4.3 inch LCD panel, which is sold separately. Once you have these items, navigate to community.nxp.com slash docs slash doc 344226 and follow the directions on this page to attach the RK043 LCD panel to the i.mx evaluation board. Next, let's download the software. Navigate to mcuexpresso.nxp.com and click Select Development Board. Left click in the Search by Name text field and type in the name of the part or the development board you are using. I'm using the i.mx RT1050, so I'll just type in RT1050, and note that there are two different packages for the 1050. One is deprecated, so I will choose the B package, which is not deprecated. Once you have selected the appropriate development board, kit, or device, note the name of your SDK. Uh, if you like, you can rename the SDK here. Then click Build MCU Expresso SDK to be taken to the next page. On the next page, select your desired components, toolchain IDE, and host OS. You can also select the SDK version you want to use. NXP always recommends using the latest version of the SDK. Ensure that the MWIN graphics library selection is selected then click Download SDK. Click Agree to accept the terms and conditions and your download should begin automatically. If it does not, you can always click Download SDK Archive to manually download your SDK package. Next, launch MCU Expresso IDE by going to the Start menu and searching for MCU Expresso and clicking on the MCU Expresso icon. Be sure this is the latest version of MCU Expresso. Like all Eclipse IDEs, you will be asked to select a workspace location. This can be anywhere on your computer, but should be a new directory to ensure that it's empty. Upon loading a blank workspace, MCU Expresso IDE always shows this welcome screen, so we'll just dismiss this to get to the main page. With the MCU Expresso IDE now open, drag and drop the SDK zip file into the installed SDKs window. This will create a copy of the SDK that is placed inside C Users Username MCU Expresso 01 SDK Packages. Importing an SDK is also how the MCU Expresso IDE becomes aware of the device properties for compiling. Next, from the Quick Start panel, we select Import SDK Examples. We use the arrow to expand this category. Select the board we are using. And then click Next. Then we click on MWIN Examples using the arrow again to expand this column. And select the MWIN Temperature Control Demo. Make sure you are selected in the project options as our SDK debug console output and click finish. Now click on the project name and then click on the build icon to build the project. The status of the build will appear in the console tab view. Once the build has finished, the console tab will report that the build has finished and we will also have an AXF file
Now let's download this demo to our board and run it. From inside the Quick Start panel window, click Debug. MCU Expresso will probe for the board and find the Simpsys DAP interface. Click OK and then the program will be flashed onto the board. Once the build finishes, click on the Resume icon to see the demo in action. And on the EVK screen, we should see a thermostat display where we can now use this rotary dial to change the temperature of our room. We can select different rooms, change the temperature individually, and we'll turn this one on. Maybe select a different room. and maybe change this one to auto. This concludes this Tech Minutes video on getting started with MWIN and MCU Expresso. Now you should have a basic understanding of how to download the MWIN libraries for NXP devices, import the example projects into MCU Expresso, and build, download, and run the example projects. For more information on the MWIN library offerings from NXP, visit www.nxp.com slash mwin graphics library. We look forward to seeing what you can create with NXP and the MWIN libraries.